Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new here, hello, my name is Tyler, and this is not going to be a long video, I just wanted to do an update on how my transition is going, and it's been like seven and a half months almost since I've been on estrogen. Yeah, my seven months on hormones was March 13th, and um, I've noticed a decent amount of changes, like in my face a little bit, I've noticed that... It's gotten like, like my cheeks have gotten thicker and my jaw as well. It's not as like sharp as it used to be, even though it is a little, she is still chiseled, but <laughs> it's not like super bad. You know what I mean? I'm definitely still looking into getting FFS, which is facial feminization surgery. If you do not know what that is, you can look it up. I'm definitely gonna get that soon. I don't know when, but. And some other things I've noticed on estrogen is my skin has gotten a little softer for sure. Um, My muscles, like every once in a while, I'll feel like muscle pains in my arm because I think my, my muscle mass is like decreasing or something or something with my bones. But yeah, I'm a lot weaker now. My skin, like, I don't get acne at all. And I used to have really bad acne. If you could see my scars. I'm looking into getting microneedling with California Cosmetics. And I'm super excited about that because I hate my scars. And thank God for estrogen because my skin was so bad. I would have so much oil all the time, just breaking out constantly. Since I started estrogen as well, my hair texture like on my head has changed. Like it was a lot thicker and rough before I started estrogen. Now it's like um, silkier and I thought it was thinner when it started to change. I was like, why is my hair getting thin? Is my hair falling out? But no. Also, my butt has gotten bigger, not like crazy bigger, but definitely noticeably bigger. My boobs are definitely growing as well, if you can see that. I do wish they were bigger and I fucking say that and look at my boobs like every day. I'm just like, why can't they be bigger? But I'm waiting, I'm fucking waiting. And if they don't get to like where I want it to be, I'm just gonna get a boob job. Um, when I get like turned on, it's a lot different than when I used to before I started estrogen. Like, it's hard to explain. Cause before it used to just be like a feeling down there where now it's just like, I get butterflies and I love it. I prefer in love how I feel now versus before estrogen. When I do have like an orgasm, nothing comes out much. And that's okay. I I prefer like the feeling of the like experience with who I'm having my fun with over, you know, what's coming out of down there. And hey guys, so it's um what's the date today? It's March 26 and and the video that you are watching that the original video that this is was filmed on like March 17 or something. And since then I've got my blood drawn, taken, whatever the fuck. You can't see the mark anymore. I got my blood done to see my estrogen and testosterone levels. And I got my results back and my estrogen was way too high. I'll fucking put the results on the screen or somewhere. You can see my levels are at 915 and they were supposed to be from 39 it says but it's supposed to be 390 to 500 not 915 <laughs> and my testosterone was way too low like i had no testosterone my testosterone it is at 0 0.2 which is like nothing and it's supposed to be at 46 to 200 something so the dosing that I was telling you that I was on I, is switched now. And now I do 0.8 ml estrogen shots still um, every other week. 
but I no longer am on the Spagano pills. We switched that like a couple days ago. I don't know the exact day, but I have to go get my blood taken again on like April 21st to see like what my levels are then to see like if what I'm doing now is fixing my hormone levels. Yeah, follow me on TikTok to stay updated with that because I don't know if I'll make another video talking about it. It's just really crazy and make sure to get your blood taken if you are taking artificial hormones because it's very important to know what your hormone levels are because really bad things can happen if you don't know what the fuck is going on. Okay, and that is it. That is all I wanted to tell you. Goodbye. I don't know what else to say, like... <laughs> Fucking... I am just in love with estrogen and... Thank you guys for watching and... I'm sorry I don't have, like, anything else to say, but... Yeah, um, hopefully I'll make another video soon. But not too soon, talking about, like, more changes because... There's nothing really crazy going to happen too soon, I'm sure. And it's currently like 11 o'clock, so I'm going to go take my makeup off and get ready for bed. So make sure you give this video a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my other social medias down below. And what the fuck else am I going to say? Oh yeah, if you were wondering, I take estrogen by injections. I do it every other week, which is, like if I did it this week, I wouldn't do it next week, but I would do it the week after that, which is one milliliter of estrogen. And every day I take two spironolactone pills with that are each 50 mg. And I don't recommend you self-medicate. Go talk to a doctor and don't dose yourself based off my dosing because it's different for everybody. And this is what I was talking about in that clip earlier. My estrogen and spironolactone are changed. I'm no longer on the pill and yeah, my dosing is different. So do not dose yourself because even my dosing that they gave me at first was incorrect. And I'm not even sure the dosing I'm on now is correct, but I'll find that out within a month or so. All right, love you, bye.